In this video, I'll tell you how you can make a video game completely alone. I'll tell you about the tools that you can use as well as some mistakes that you should avoid. I know about these mistakes because I made them myself in the past and they are the main reason why most of the indie game developers fail. If you stay till the end of the video, you will be equipped with enough knowledge to start your own game dev journey. When you go on Steam and see some of those super successful games that made millions of dollars, you might think that teams of hundreds of people worked on them. And in most cases you are right, but you would be surprised how many of those games were made by just one person. Let's take Choo Choo Charles for example. How many people do you think worked on that game? 20? Maybe 10? 5? No, that game was developed by only one guy and it is estimated that that game earned him around 5 million million dollars. I will tell you what were the most important factors in the success of that game, but let's first go over the tools that you can use in order to make a game. With today's tools, you can make AA looking games completely alone. The first tool that you need is a game engine. Choo Choo Charles was developed in Unreal Engine 4. And if you want to make 3D games, I would suggest you use Unreal Engine either 4 or 5. But if you want to make mobile or 2D games, I would suggest you use Unity. I used Unity to make my first indie game Cody's Nightmare. I'm currently working on a 3D game called Silly Billy and I'm using Unreal Engine 5 to develop it. If you like the looks of this game, you can wishlist it on Steam. The link is below. Now that you've chosen the engine that suits your game the best, you need some assets. If you want to make some 3D assets, you can use a free software like Blender to make those. If you maybe need some custom textures, you can use some 2D editing software like Photoshop or GIMP. You can also use Photoshop or GIMP if you want to make 2D games. But if you don't want to make assets yourself, there is a solution to that. There is countless free assets on sites like TurboSquid, Sketchfab. There is also specific marketplaces for game engines like Unreal Engine Marketplace and Unity Asset Store. A very important thing for every game is its sound. And for all of my games I used sounds from a website called freesound.org. If the sound that you find there is not perfect, you can edit it in a software like Audacity. After you get comfortable with those tools, you need a viral idea. You might think that the big companies have advantage over you in creating a viral idea, but I would argue that you can be more creative alone, because you are not restricted by any rules and you can let your imagination run free. Now let's see how the idea for Choo Choo Charles came about. The developer of Choo Choo Charles saw that the games with cartoonish style with a horror twist are going viral on reddit. So he took his favorite childhood her cartoon and made it super scary. He developed it for some time and released a very early version of the trailer on reddit and twitter and it went super viral. That showed him that he had a viral idea in his hands so he kept developing it and eventually released it. Now that you have all the tools and viral idea, how does the development process actually look from start to releasing your game? First, you need to create a game design document or GDD. GDD is a document where you outline everything that you want to have in your game. All the characters, all the gameplay mechanics and the complete scope of the project. Now, it is very important to stay inside of the scope and don't expand the project. Now, you need to create a prototype or a demo. And with that demo, you should be able to create a trailer and some screenshots. The trailer and screenshots are very important because you need to create the Steam page as early as possible. That way you can start collecting wishlists and when you release a game a lot of those wishlists will purchase it. When you have your trailer and screenshots you should also start posting on Reddit and Twitter to gain some attention for your game. Now comes the hardest part actually finishing your game. All of the indie game developers like to project hop because we get new ideas every day, but it is very important to stay focused and finish your game. You should focus on your GDD and you should not start any new projects until you released your game. When your game is done, it is time to release it. But before you do that, there is a couple things that you should consider. First, 
You should have as much wishlist as you can. You can get those wishlists by posting on social media like Reddit and Twitter and by contacting YouTubers and streamers to play demo of your game. You can also send Steam keys to the influencers on the date that you plan to release your game. That way you can build some hype around your game and boost the Steam algorithm. And congratulations, you have your first game out. Now you have millions of dollars and you can quit your job. <laughs> now you can buy 20 cars and live on the beach for the rest of your life. <laughs> but in all seriousness, your first few games probably won't be successful. And making games is not as easy as it looks, but it is definitely possible. If you want me to make more detailed videos about any of the topics that I talked today, let me know in the comments. And remember, don't give up on your dreams.